Welcome to the third episode of Version Voss. Introduce you to the Attitude Era legend Stone Cold Steve Austin will take on the Shield, consisting of Roman Reigns and Seth freaking Rollins. Stone Cold and Shield both are first time participants in this tournament, so I don't have any data on them. Undertaker absolutely cleaned up New World Order just like Roman Reigns did to Stone Cold Steve Austin's strongest version. Roman Reigns likes to start off with a good spear in every match. I think he's picking him up. Might go for the double team. Okay, no. It was an attempt stunner from Stone Cold to Roman Reigns. I fumbled in my own words. I said, didn't break it up. Both men just looking at Roman Reigns. I think Roman himself doesn't like his uh, shield version. This is not the shield version. I think this is like the heavily booed version. The version that got rock booed. <laughs> Stone Cold now working the leg of Roman Reigns. He looks like he's in big trouble. Undertaker absolutely destroyed the outsiders in the previous match. No men eliminated from the side of the Undertaker, who were the same finalists last time around. The defending champions Evolution were taken down by Rock and Sock Connection. Mankind did a very good 1v3 in the end to survive in the end I could say. On the other side, I'm doing a Generations War Tournament. I think it's PG Era versus... It was PG Era versus Attitude. I, I might be wrong. Roman Reigns with the second spear and that eliminates Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now Austin needs to go for a finisher, but he instead opts to go for a carry. And just drops Roman Reigns. Stone Cold now might want to go for the finisher here. Austin tried to go for the stunner. Gets reversed once again by Roman Reigns, who has been really good. Just one... Version of Roman Reigns has been tagged in. The Tribal Chief isn't isn't even tagged in, which is the strongest version. Roman Reigns reverses another stunner attempt and just kicks Stone Cold in the face. That was a really good quick elimination from Roman Reigns of the strongest version of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And now Stone Cold slides out of the ring. Roman Reigns showing off. Now just uh, randomly attacking people on the floor. The match has slowed down quite some bit, so like I was saying, Adriterra was 2-4 down, but the team had Undertaker and Triple H remaining. They both just cleaned up their competition. Stone Cold and The Rock fell quite early on in the match. I think Roman Reigns wanted to go for the Superman punch, but he had to change it because of the direction he was going in. Rather, Stone Cold was coming in a different direction. Roman again wanted to go for a spear. Now he can go for the Superman punch, that gets reversed. And Stone Cold wants to have him on the ropes. I don't know what he was trying, but that failed. And Roman Reigns now can try to go for a finisher here. He does try to go for a whip, but that wasn't a finisher. Just a shoulder to the shoulder of Stone Cold. He wasn't look like another reversal of the whip. Sends him in the corner and a big clothesline. Stone Cold is down. Roman goes for the cover. Is there anyone going to see him? No. He kicks out at two. Very close count for this early in the match. One finisher taken by Stone Cold and now Roman Reigns is setting up for another spear. Third spear I'm pretty sure in this match. From Roman Reigns, Stone Cold wanted to intercept it with something it looked like but that was just weird. Usually there is no reversal on such. I don't know what was that. You might need to reverse that what happened there. Shield upset everyone in the Faction Wars tournament. They defeated Evolution. And then they, they defeated Authority, so they were really good. They were reeling in the fourth position. They barely qualified for the semi-finals. And a reversal of a jawbreaker from Stone Cold, who needs to go for a tag. Gets a few shots off on Roman Reigns. Into a pile driver, it seems. And now Stone Cold finally gets some, some moves off. And now he's going to tag in the Invasion version, which is not the official one. Obviously, you can see it by the name, but... Just had to make sure. Roman Reigns with the shoulder tackle buries him. Uh, uh, I don't know why I said it. But Stone Cold with a stunner on Roman Reigns. First finisher taken by him in this match. So that's how good Roman Reigns has been in this match. Roman Reigns has been performing really good in this uh, few months. I think one or two months. In the starting of 2K24, he wasn't that good. But after a patch update for the... For tears of WrestleMania pack, he started to be really good. I think they fixed a few AI glitches he had. Like he used to stop midway through his spear or Superman punch. 
So that cost him a lot and of course he has a very high rating so he isn't going to be eliminated easy and he was never eliminated easy either way. But the team of evolution is a bit risky to beat because they are very quick. Triple H and Batista are so quick. Undertaker has the ratings advantage, so does John Cena, so does Bray White actually. So this is going to be a really competitive tournament to be honest. So is going to be generation. That is just a very high average tournament like always an era team in all such tournament will win because an average era team is like a 90 because like Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar is just one of the teams which participated in the PSS tournament. That's how strong he was, the team was and still they didn't make it to the finals so that's how difficult the tournament is. The best of each era like Attitude and all that stuff. Stone Cold reverses the attempt or he just caught him midway it looked like and just a job breaker and now Seth Rollins is going for the stomp. Doesn't reverse his Stone Cold. The current version takes a finisher and now he's down. Austin 97 or the old 3 pack? 97. Breaks it up and Rollins is going for another stomp. This might eliminate him. Stone Cold survives. Seth freaking Rollins is on a roll. No one will be able to save Austin here. He is going to use his resiliency. Close two count and Seth is going to the corner. Okay, he's just tearing him up. He is going to charge up for a big splash and now he is on the apron. I don't know why he didn't go for the springboard. A few errors I might I'm so safe, I dare say. Should be fixed. Stone Cold Steve Austin is now legal. Obviously had to be. This is the 97 version. The king of the ring. Stone Cold Steve Austin goes for the stun and eliminates Seth freaking Rollins. And now Seth Rollins 15 is going for a neck breaker on Stone Cold Steve Austin 97. Kanta just recently won the king of the ring. So it's quite in trend. Is the tournament. I don't know what that move was. That was really stupid. It looked like uh, Seth Rollins was getting hurt rather than uh, Stone Cold getting hurt. And the move didn't affect so cool that much. He is able to recover very quickly. And now Roman wants to go for a spear. It seems here. And so cool 97 is eliminated. It's 2v3 for the team of Stone Cold. But quick finishers can do a lot of things for the team of Stone Cold Steve Austin. But the Shield team is really good after they come back in the tournament. Like they won three on the trot. So they were really good. And then Eliminator Evolution and Authority, the two finalists of the previous year's Generation Wars, uh, Faction Wars. I have so many tournaments running, I get confused. Roman now once again wants to go for the whip, he wants to go for the spear here. And a second spear on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Doesn't get eliminated, but he is in big trouble. He the is eliminated. eliminated. Okay. I think it was the third, and Roman with a kick, quick kick to the face. This is one of the fastest moves in the game. And Stone Cold with a stunner. This stunner looks really good, like the cap on. Uh, reminds me of the very good alliance uh, comeback. And obviously, I forgot. Disturbed Team Austin. Austin wanted to go for stunner, it seems like. Austin instantly recovers. The best brawler in the business. At least he's his build as so. He is really good, actually. His punches actually, actually look like really good, like. It looks like he's actually punching a person. Roman Reigns just got stuck. Stone Cold with the reverse wanted to go for the stunner, but Roman Reigns exchanging counters with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And now he just plants him with a blue thunder bomb. Weirdly enough. Roman Reigns now wants to go for a spear, but Stone Cold is back to his feet. And now just going to kick him. No. Stone Cold is going to break it with the elbow to the heart of Roman Reigns and now captured knee lift and he's going to go for a cover no one is going to save him because he doesn't need it to be honest Roman Reigns the tribal chief kicks out at 2 Austin is standing there he will let him tag out to Seth Rollins 15 Roman Reigns with a reversal when he's not even legal so that's very rare and now Rollins daring Austin to get up it looked like for a second that Austin got eliminated but a knee to the face, the springboard I was talking about. This should be more common because a lot of wrestlers nowadays go for the springboard moves, the dives. That's really common. 
and just stomping the head off Stone Cold Steve Austin at this point. It's 1v3 for Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's the custom created Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know who created it. I will tag the creator if I am able to. Stone Cold has him up for a big suplex of the rebound of the ropes. Not the way you would have thought it was. But either way, why is the light flickering in the background? And a whip by Stone Cold Steve Austin tried to go for the test press but that got reversed and Stone Seth Rollins who loves reversing signatures is doing his job and now he's going to go for the stomp it seems. Seth Rollins goes for the signature stomp. Is this going to be the end of Stone Cold Steve Austin? No, he survives this. Rollins is going to go for the cover. Austin kicks out two and a half. A very close kick out by Stone Cold Steve Austin and now Rollins is going to work him once again. Super kick attempt from Seth Rollins. Austin with the reversal. But Enziguri plants him on the mat. Roman Reigns 15 who has a finisher and a signature goes for a gut wrench slam from the ground up. He needs to go for the finisher. Why is he waiting? I don't know. But now he will go for the finisher. If he goes for the whip. That is mostly that. He is going for the finish. Another spear on Stone Cold. This is going to make him use his resilience. If it doesn't, it is going to be really surprising. He does use his resilience. Stone Cold is in big trouble. Tags in Seth Rollins, who still has a signature and a finisher. He's going top rope. I think he's going for his signature. If this lands, Austin is going to be out of this match. Actually, he survived it. Iron Jaw wasted by Stone Cold Steve Austin once again. But he belly kicks for two and a half, a very close kick out actually. I thought that was going to be the end, but Stone Cold kicked out. He doesn't have a finish here, so I don't think he is uh, going to win this. Very difficult this from Stone Cold. Seth's attempt to stomp gets reversed. Stone Cold with a stunner doesn't eliminate Seth Rollins 15. Roman Reigns 15 is going to save him. And uh, Rollins is now. In big trouble, but he isn't going to be eliminated this early on. The stomping Seth Rollins, and I think he just flipped him. And signature Stone Cold Steve Austin stuff from Stone Cold. Seth Rollins takes out two and a half. Finally, a bit of momentum to the side of Stone Cold Steve Austin, but as soon as Roman tags in, he is going to have the upper hand so, because he can just run in and hit us out of nowhere. So that is the advantage of having a running finisher. Stone Cold is hammering Seth Rollins with punches to the back and now one to the face. Cheap shot from Roman Reigns 15. Austin tried to go for a cheap shot off of his own but Tribal Chief reverses it. That dive absolutely connected to no one. But Stone Cold also gets reversed of the fireman's carry and I rake stuns Stone Cold Steve Austin. And just throws him on the ring post. Let's see what Seth Rollins is thinking here. He's just going to throw him on the stairs. Rollins seems to get back to the ring because Austin almost has a finisher at this point. Two big moves and uh, Austin has a finisher. Austin is back to the ring. Rollins is going to run in. It looks like yes, he is going to run in. Sends him again on the apron and just tags in the tribal chief. Roman Reigns who just tried to go for shoulder to tackle off uh, Spear of the I don't know what that is actually Roman Reigns wanted to go for the guillotine that gets reversed a very very guillotine these days from Roman Reigns and that gets reversed and Austin has him in the corner and Austin just turns him around double axe handle to the back and another one but that gets reversed and Roman Reigns goes for the spear Austin jumps over him but Roman Reigns once again with a reversal. Both men are fighting. Who is going to be stunned first? Is it going to be Roman? Is it going to be Austin? I think it's going to be Roman Reigns. He's just two moves away. Or even one big move. Stunner from Austin. Roman Reigns doesn't get eliminated. But a very quick stunner. This might be the biggest comeback ever. If Austin does it. He has him in the corner once again trying to stomp him but this time Roman Reigns is going to be reversing it. Roman wanted to run at him but he couldn't do anything. Roman this time reverses this, the whip attempt. That, actually that was an attempt for the fast press from 
Stone Ghosty was in a good scoop slam. Roman is going to be covered. He has his Lindsay, but he doesn't need Roman any Reigns has been He has been eliminated. It's 1v2. Roman Reigns 15 is going for the spear. It seems he ducks underneath. What is he doing here? Superman Punch finally drops. Stone Cold Steve Austin now he's going to set up for the spear. Tribal Chief gets eliminated without uh, resilience. So that is going to be very important. But Roman Reigns 15 is going to do the job for him as he eliminates Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here are your winners. The team of Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins and Roman as the shield prevails over the team of Stone Cold Steve Austin, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Have a really good day. Thanks for watching.